Just for fun, I'm going to do uh, some Aesop's Fables. Number one, the wolf and the lamb. A wolf, meeting with a lamb astray from the fold, resolved not to lay violent hands on him, but to find some plea to justify to the lamb the wolf's right to eat him. He thus addressed him, Sirrah, last year you grossly insulted me. Indeed, bleated the lamb in a mournful tone of voice, I was not then born. Then said the wolf, You feed in my pasture. No good, sir, replied the lamb, I have not yet tasted grass. Again said the wolf, You drink of my well. No, exclaimed the, exclaimed the lamb, I never yet drank water, for as yet my mother's milk is both food and drink to me. Upon which the wolf seized him and ate him up, saying, Well, I won't remain supperless, even though you refute every one of my imputations. The lesson? The tyrant will always find a pretext for his tyranny. Story 2. The Bat and the Weasels A bat who fell upon the ground and was caught by a weasel pleaded to be spared his life. The weasel refused, saying that he was by nature the enemy of all birds. The bat assured him that he was not a bird, but a mouse, and thus was set free. Shortly afterwards, the bat again fell to the ground and was caught by another weasel, whom he likewise entreated not to eat him. The weasel said that he had a special hostility to mice. The bat assured him that he was not a mouse, but a bat, and thus a second time escaped. The lesson? It is wise to turn circumstances to good account. All right, the third and last one. The ass and the grasshopper. An ass, having heard some grasshoppers chirping, was highly enchanted and desiring to possess the same charms of melody, demanded what sort of food they lived on to give them such a beautiful voices. They replied, the dew. The ass resolved that he would live only upon dew and in a short time died of hunger. Uh, the end. That was three short ones. The next one, the lion and the mouse, I'll do again. And I'll just compile these up because it's always good to learn a good lesson.